our first guest. We ready or are we coming up? Okay, I knew that. I was talking to Abby, but our first guest today is Dr. Abigail Pinnock. She's a veterinarian on a mission. She runs a mobile vet practice, caring for and rescuing animals. And she's here to share her journey and the heartwarming stories behind her operation. Abby, who's with you? Marlon, my vet tech, and King King. Or Hi, Marlon. Pump. Hi, King King. <laughs> Does King King have a mic? Because we need to hear what King King has to say. Right. Yeah. Um, good to meet you both. Thank uh, you. Good to meet King King too. This this is your passion. You are living your passion. Living. You love animals from way. Tell me a little bit about that history. So I grew up coming home to a new pet, like a snake, a hamster. A what? Yes, I was very involved with cleaning wounds and by grade six, I thought I was a vet. <laughs> no one could tell me different. When you say cleaning wounds, Abby, I mean like de wounds. Yeah, no, yak. Deworming. Yak. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, that was your dad. So yeah, my dad, he loves animals, so I got that from him. And after that, I wanted to go to vet school. I did that. Worked in the States for a couple of years, came back home, worked at JSPC. Then I found out that there's a niche market for vets that go to the homes. Many yes. people, they have a lot of dogs, you know, it's not as convenient for them to be packing up everybody to go to the vets. So that's where Island Mobile Vets was born. Why are you talking about dogs alone? What about those of us who have kitties? Yeah, man, cats, everybody, hamsters, rabbits. Okay. All right. So you kind of detoured on the way though, because pageantry was a stop for you. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> Actually, how I got into pageantry was interesting. Um, it was my last year to enter and I said, let me do something that challenges me. And I'm telling you, I'll never regret it. Yeah. It actually raised my confidence level. I would tell any woman who wants to do that, enter pageantry. Um, that definitely even had a big platform there. We were able to raise some money for the JSPCA where I was working at at the time. And I mean, no it's regrets. something that I never regret. No regrets. Yeah. So you're, you're at this age and stage of your life, because you are a young lady, <laughs> you're living and have lived so many of your passions, which is great. It means you're living a, a purpose-led and fulfilling life, and I love that for you. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to talk a little bit about how you, why did you decide that, well, you said the niche was there. You did your research, you found the niche there. How long have you been on the road with that unit? So actually, we started last year, Mal and I, we started from day one, we were actually working with a car, right, going house to house. And then we got our unit just this year in February. So we have everything in it, our surgical suite. We don't have to pack out anymore, right, Marlon? Mm -hmm. We used to pack out our table and our anesthesia machine and be going from house to house. But now we have our unit. We get to do everything in there and it's so convenient to the clients mm -hmm. and for our patients. Marlon, what's your role? Well, I'm a bit tech. Right, which means what? Yes, yes, yes. Hold and to restrain, you know, to handle. Mm -hmm. I'm the most of the physical body mm -hmm. of the company. Do you also love animals? Yeah. Always? Fun. Yeah. Yeah. What's the experience been like for you working with Dr. Abs? Come again? What's the experience been like with you working? Well, it's been great. You know, fabulous. Yeah. I learned more stuff about animals and stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yes, go ahead. Marlon is currently actually attending veterinary technician school in so, this. Yeah, so I was just yeah. going to ask you if this has inspired you to do even more in the field. Yeah, Penn Foster High School. Yeah. You're doing what? Penn Foster. The college. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. He's okay. doing really well. I'm sure. Oh, well, he's on the <laughs> tutelage of Dr. Ab, so what, what, can, what else can you do? Yeah. So for, you, for the folks who are watching who have animals who may want to access your service, Tell me how it works and tell me what you offer inside there. Okay, so it's easy to contact us. You can send us a WhatsApp message. We have our 301-8374 number. You can WhatsApp us, call us and make an appointment. We offer everything from vaccinations, health checks to dentals, spay and neuter. Dentals, guys. Yes, dental cleanings, dogs need teeth cleaning too. And also general surgery. How often should your dog's teeth be cleaned? Okay. Every six months? Like Every six months? to 12 months. Are you kidding? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Even if they're just eating friskies? Oh, yes. Do you have, you have, when the pets age, a plaque builds up, right? So when they get older in time, they start to develop the tartar, the plaque on the back of the molars and stuff. So definitely dentals are and recommended. And what are they going to do to them, dog? It's, so we sedate them, we put them under anesthesia, and then we clean the teeth. It's very important because dental diseases, yeah. You're yeah. sedating the animals? And yeah. you perform surgeries also in the vehicle? We do. We do all All that. types? Yes. All types. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. 
um, how, far, how far in advance do we have to, um, to contact you to be able to get you to? So usually at least 24 hours because we get booked quite quickly, quite easily. And um, sometimes for weeks, clients are waiting, but we, we try our best to facilitate. Mm -hmm. We're actually expanding now to get another unit and another oh, vet. So you have one unit on the road now? Yes, we have one unit. And because of the demand that we're getting, we're getting another vet as well. Another unit is already here and worked on. And we're excited. That's so lovely. What is your vision for the business you're building, clearly? Is yes. it your plan at some point to have a fixed location as well as the units on the road or how do you plan to grow? Definitely we're planning to have a fixed location. We want to have a place where we can actually hospitalize some of our patients as well as have a facility for boarding. We're also getting other units. I'd like to have at least a coverage in the other, the western right, side right, as well as the... We're sure they're going to be people like, Kingston is not Jamaica, Doctor. Mm. Abby, can you come and see us <laughs> right. down in? Right now you don't go outside of Kingston. We do actually. We have special days that we go to Mandeville, we go to Portland, St. Thomas, St. Anne. So you right. just block the day we and do. you do that side? Correct, okay. yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Wow. Okay guys, so listen, if you have a pet, um, and generally, Doc, because I was telling you I have a cat. I've had a cat for one year. Yes. And Charlie has never had a trickle. That's, that can't be good, right? We need to sort him out. So how, how often should we be just generally just giving our, okay. our animals health checks? Health checks are important at least once yearly, okay. right? But by a veterinarian. But in terms of deworming, you get that done, sorted out ticks and flea prevention for your cat monthly. You have to do heartworm prevention as well, especially in dogs in Jamaica. So we do recommend at least once a year to bring your animal to a vet. I guess I gotta book an appointment for Charlie because, mm. you yes. know, we cannot have Charlie getting up. Mm. King? King King? Tell me a little bit about King. Oh my, wow. King's story is something else, right Marlon? We yes. were working at um, one of our clients' place at a garage because we do go to companies too and there was a dog tied up, which was King. He was starving, emaciated, Aww. terrible condition. Uh, we took him, and if you saw him before and I'm now, sure. day and night, yeah. he was traumatized, abused, but now he's living in love and yeah. he has a lovely home, so. Aww. yeah. Did you steal him, Doctor? <laughs> I wish I could. It's true, you know, let me tell you, guys, animals are so lovely. I was so hell-bent against not getting any animals in my house. Yeah. Um, but getting that cat from JSPCA has really changed my life. It's such a calming influence. And when we got the cat, he was so traumatized as well because he was falling on the street. He would hide for days. Mm -hmm and then they not come out. But they really do add to your quality of life. They do. You can just go down to JSPCA and do some kind of rescue if you can facilitate it. If you have a kid yes. who loves animals and will treat them well, it's also a great responsibility for your child. And you know that if you need healthcare for your pet, then you can call Dr. Abbey. Give us the numbers again to reach you. Okay, so you can reach us at 301. 8374 mm -hmm. or email us at Vets at gmail.com or you can follow us on Instagram Island Mobile Vets. Okay, Island Mobile Vets. Thank you very much Dr. Abigail. Thank you, you for know? having Thank us. Thank you Marlon. Uh, Respect King King. Woo, King, King King is like, look, this is my nap time. Why am I <laughs> even out here? Yes. Veterinarian Dr. Abigail Pinnock uh, and her vet tech Marlon. We'll be right back with our fun stop after this. More on Smile in a minute.